Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong 2013 Interbike, and we're at the Argon booth, and we've got Jeff with us. He's the expert on all this amazing bike, so we're going to get into a little bit about their technology, what they have out this year, and why this is such an amazing, sexy bike. This bike is absolutely beautiful. So, Jeff, tell us a little bit about it and how you guys came about, what's going on with your brand right now, and uh, all about this bike. Sure. Well, this is, uh, yeah, we're here, as you said, we're here launching the 2014 model year Gallium Pro. And this is a completely new platform for us. In the past, um, we haven't had a l super light bike uh, because we didn't feel comfortable with the technology that was out there to develop it within our construction philosophy. In our construction philosophy, we like to call optimal balance. And what optimal balance is, is the best of three conflicting ingredients. The best of lightweight, comfort, and rigidity. This is normally, we would you can have a lightweight bike that's also comfortable right. and that's also ultra stiff and stable. Yeah. Normally you give up stability for lightweight, but not in our case. So we use finite element analysis to uh, help us zone in on all the parts of the bike that require the stiffness and that require the layups where they, where and, and also to lighten up the bike where we can. So you see here we have a nice transition up to our 27.2 uh, millimeter seat post. Uh, but when we look at construction of a bike, we really slice the bike in half through the rear axle up from the, uh, the head tube. Um, we call that our horizontal dual system. So in the lower half of the bike, it's all about power transfer. So bulk bottom bracket, oversized asymmetric chain stays, and then a bulky head tube for stability in our turns and descents. All of our riders that, uh, that ride this, our products un under the optimal balance construct always talk about their feeling of security and safety when they're going high speed and downhills. Yeah. So we also have a lot of innovations on this product and I'll go through a couple of them here. We have uh, a unique uh, um, innovation that's called a 3D head tube. And the reason we call it 3D is because it's got three separate height adjustments. So effectively extending the height of the head tube. So when with this 20 millimeter spacer plus the compressor on top and the standard 5 mil spacer, you get a nice uh, elevation for those that want a, tra a training ride or a training fit or they're not quite at their top form yet sure. without having extra parts or a different kind of bike, a different bike that has a different head tube height. So as they get fitter or they want a racing fit, you remove this spacer, go to a 10 mil 3D spacer or the standard 5 mil because what happens is this spacer screws right into the head tube so effectively extends the head tube height without yeah. losing incremental stiffness so it's a really key innovation that only uh, belongs to Argon 18 um, our, our owner is a former racer uh, former Olympic uh, racer for Canada uh, with over 150 victories in uh, Europe and North America through his career um, so he became known as a fitting expert to all his teammates and uh, really um, uh, a specialist in ergonomics when it comes to bike ri racing and bike riding. So a lot of that thinking goes into our product. Um, then he became a retailer, so he thinks also like our retail partners, so he understands the pain that retailers have with managing SKUs and, and uh, having extra parts and kits. So we, we really believe in integrating a lot of components into the, the bike um, to add value for our customers. Bulky bottom bracket, that's a BB86 standard. We also, um, a unique innovation for us that we've done, a, starting about five, six years ago, we lower the BB five millimeters to give a little more stability, cornering and descents, and uh, extra stack, obviously, as well. So you have to always consider that when you're fitting with our bikes, that we have a lower BB, so you have to take that in consideration when you're fitting, uh, when, you're, when you're looking at your stack uh, point of fires. So and then um, as I said, the lower half of the bike is all about stiffness and stability. And then up top, you see different tube shapes um, that are really there for compliance and flex to give you that comfortable ride that you really need to stay fresh in those long, uh, especially in your area where you guys are based. Uh, there's a lot of uh, rough roads. Um, so it's really important to stay fresh as long as possible. DI2 compatible without any extra kits or parts, so if you want to upgrade from mechanical to DI2, it's completely possible. The battery tucks right in nicely here into the seat post.
Sounds like an amazing uh, thought through bike. I, uh, I've always wanted to get on one of these bikes, read a lot about them, you know, uh, and uh, they're amazing. Obviously don't have a dealer in our area, but uh, those people out there that do have a dealer would love to have your feedback. If you've rode one of these bikes, please leave a comment below. We're going to give Jeff a link to this actual video so that he can go out there, answer any of your questions that you have. And uh, the main thing is, is while you're looking at these bikes, you know, ask the questions because as we find and you're hearing through all these videos, everybody has kind of a different way that they, they look at building these bikes. So Jeff, is there any other bikes you want to talk about really quick or yeah, is this the main one? We're, uh, we're launching uh, three new uh, models. Well, this is a completely new mold for us this year in 2014. And what we've done is we, um, we passed the, the molds from our previous pro models down to the lower price points to give, again, a lot of value to riders that maybe want the uh, the big top line bike but they can't necessarily afford it so same rider with a different wallet so we try and really build a lot of value into the different level price points so we have a, a gallium uh, that's the white and black model there that uh, actually replaced our gallium pro from last year so at a lower price point so for the gallium pro with all that value that i talked about at 790 gram frame uh, for for uh, 3,500 uh, MSRP retail on the frame, fork seat post. All right, cool. Okay, and on the Gallium, uh, 965 gram frame, uh, frame fork seat post for 2,500 uh, retail MSRP. Very impressive. Very yeah. impressive. Then we have a lower model, one one lower down uh, level in price point called the Krypton, and that was actually our Gallium Pro model in 2010. So that was our pro bike in 2010. We passed down uh, the mold to that level, changed the carbon fiber layup, so it's a little less stiff, a little uh, less light, yeah. and uh, standard BSA uh, bottom bracket, uh, with still though with a lot of value with the 3D headset. So even for those kind of entry level coming into the full carbon entry level, yeah. um, they have a lot of value and uh, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of a lot of. Uh, uh, yeah, a lot of value to this product. Yeah. Very cool. All right, well, check them out, you guys. I hope you love this interview, and once again, love to you know get your comments and thoughts about that. But most importantly, we want all of you out there to uh, be safe and keep cycling strong. We'll talk to you soon.